Greetings! Today I've got a couple of failed LED geotan light bulbs um, and those were in and this came came in this box was a 5 watt uh, GU10 uh, GU10 bulbs and yeah um, they've been doing okay for some time just put the box away but um, those have been in in a tank with uh, with turtles basically providing some uh, additional lightning next next to um, UV uh, compact fluorescent bulb, but anyways, those uh, yeah, the the whole thing is glass, um, so I thought they would be they would last for a bit long. Now this one failed quite quickly, and you can see one chip just uh, pretty much exploded over there, and quite a lot of them have gone dark, uh, so. A few on this side, on the top, you can see that they look okay, uh, but this one has failed catastrophically, and pretty much more than half or on the other uh, part of the uh, part of the circle um, have gone a little bit dark, and that's a sign of failure as well. Now this one has lasted uh, quite a bit longer. Um, but has um, failed today, and I've been told um, that it started producing a smoke um, from the inside. And you can see something's gone terribly wrong over there. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm curious to see um, what has gone wrong. So I'm going to try to open those. Now, it's worth noting that when uh, when I f when I got them, I didn't pay much attention. I just simply plug them in and left them to it um, but having those uh, having a look at those at the, uh, from the front those look as full glass sealed uh, bulbs but they're not actually um, they they have little vents uh, on the sides so possibly that's that's part of the reason why uh, why things can um, gone wrong uh, because the moisture was able to to get inside um, but nonetheless they've lasted um, a few months um, but yeah so let's uh, let's have a look why was this smoking right after a quick look um, I was trying to wedge this uh, wedge this out using the the hole over here but clearly the ceramic back plate and and the glass bit is uh, quite well uh, bonded it's some sort of glue so this is not gonna go without um, sending little bits of uh, glass all over the place so I think the best place is to uh, to start is just to get fully medieval on this actually I stand corrected I've just noticed that the front just comes off I think the glue has failed over here this is glass I was I was I was gonna smash this to pieces but it turns out it's uh, it's not necessary It's got that nice, distinct smell of burnt electronics. Uh, and one of the chips just uh, just came off. It's actually not the whole LED, just uh, just a little bit of of the face of it. And. This is toasty. This must have been getting quite hot. Uh, must have been. Or maybe that's water cost. Uh, but water alone would it cost that much discoloration. Anyways. Let's cut this off. And make sure the cap is discharged. because this was plugged in a moment ago and this one too 
Yeah, okay, so that should be safe now. So, as a power supply, there is just literally uh, capacitor, a uh, bridge rectifier, and uh, a smoothing cap. And there is a resistor here used as a fuse. And that's that's all there is to it. The PCB is is the aluminium. Well, certainly stiff. It's bendy, so I think it's aluminium or aluminium backed PCB. And yeah. This LED over here has failed, it's fully toasted, so this is where the smoke was coming from. Okay, there we go, that's a little better look um, at what happened. So, this LED, this one here, you can see it's, it's even charred the, the PCB quite, uh, quite substantially. Something's gone really wrong, and that's that's the other one. Literally, just a potting. Uh, the top of the LED fell out. That probably, oh, yeah, all of them are quite badly damaged. Okay, I'm concluding on here that it's simply water got in here and uh, caused a short, and that in turn caused a catastrophic failure. There was probably enough uh, enough water on here just to short out in between a couple of uh, between those two LEDs and uh, cause the whole thing to short out, uh, draw a bit more current, and that's gone bye bye. Now it's worth noting that the cap over here is uh, a little bit uh, bulged, so and it's yeah it's a crappy capacitor with LED uh, printed on the sleeve so um, yeah are they making those caps especially for LEDs uh, that probably means it's just rubbish quality um, let's have a look at the other one Ew. Oh, it really smells it smells of catastrophic failure Okay, so this one's this one looks a little bit better. Okay, originally I thought this is a residue from the water or something, but it's not actually. Looking at this, this uh, this one felt quite quickly, and it's. Um, and it looks a lot cleaner, but this residue is here as well. That's uh, that's actually just the flux uh, left over after soldering, so they haven't done a clean job over here with it. Actually, let's short this one out just to be. Just to be sure. Right, uh, I've got an idea. So let me just make a note on what's positive, what's negative. So yeah, the white one is negative over here. And it's same story here. So, what I'm thinking of doing, let me just get the cases out of the way, is to see if I can get those two lights up and maybe destroy them properly. Now from what I see over here, 
the whole thing is pretty much in series, so I doubt that this will. Uh, I doubt it will light up, but it's it's worth a shot. Okay, this is uh, 11 volts right now, it's not drawing any current whatsoever. I can go up to 30, 30, 31 volts and nothing's happening, so let's try the other one. Okay, nothing's exploded yet, so let's... Okay, so I can get to light up a couple of... Oh. Right, this is strange. This is happening again. So this is uh this is the positive lead uh from the power supply. I've got only negative connected and I promise you there is nothing else in here. But when I just touch the touch and squeeze the board, the LEDs light up. Oh. 
Come on, let me reduce the lights a little bit. So, yeah, you could see that the two lit up, and depending on where I touch, more or less of them will uh, will come on. But how is that happening? If someone can explain this to me, uh, I'll appreciate. But uh... now I've switched it off. Obviously, it's not going to happen, but. This the same thing happened with uh, with the lights when that I was building for the fish tank and I didn't know why I didn't make much of it and here is another one the difference is that one was uh, powered from a uh, switch mode power supply but that was isolated um, today this I'm I'm powering from a um, uh, linear power supply so it's got a massive toroidal transformer and this shouldn't uh, shouldn't light up uh, but it does so I've either got a some I've either got I've either have some serious issue with um, with wiring in here somewhere that I'm not aware of or I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, if you've got an idea why those LEDs um, light up, uh, feel free to leave a comment or, or point me towards where I can find out. Um, anyways, um, I think that's all for this one. Take care.